for Kyle Saka has spin in the third. Hello, boys. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Who scores the most goals? It's me. It's me. <laughs> Who is it? Be honest. It's me. I've scored more this season. No, you haven't. You only scored like one against Liverpool. Oh. I, mean, I even scored yesterday guys, guys. against Spurs. <laughs> it's alright. Maybe I'll come and watch you guys soon and we'll see. Yeah? I hope you, you've got some questions for me. Angelina, what's your question? How did you balance school and football when you was my age? How old are you? 12. I wouldn't say it was easy. You have to have a lot of discipline. I know my mum really wanted me to, to do well in my schoolwork, so this is where I had motivation to just make my mum happy. Jaden, what's your question? What age did you really start to believe that you'd make it pro? Every day that I, I went to training, I always tried to be the best, to score the most goals, and of course, impress the coaches the most. It wasn't only until I would say I started to come up to London Colney, so the first team training ground, and then I got my scholarship. I started to get called up to train with the first team. Those were the times I started to believe that, you know, it's possible. But one thing I did know was that in Arsenal Football Club, there's a pathway because when I was your age, we had Jack Walsher to look up to Alex Awobi because they came from, from Halen Road and they went straight to the first team. So I would say I, I always believed, but my belief became more when I when I came up to London Colney. And my second question is, um, what's your favourite Nigerian food? Ah, that's, that's hard. Are you Nigerian? Yeah. What's yours? I'll say Amala. Ah! <laughs> no, no, no. No, not Amala. I'll have to say Jollof and Plantain together. Samuel, what's your question? What would be your routine during a big match? I get a massage before the game, try to relax. I listen to a lot of music. When I was your age, I used to watch a lot of YouTube before the game. You know, I used to watch like all my favourite players, so Messi, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo and stuff like that. And it just used to make me feel happy. I used to go on the pitch and want to have fun. And I think that that calms the nerves as well. And it makes you remember to always enjoy football and not take it obviously too seriously. Hello, Leon. Who in your life helped you to become a professional footballer most? I'll say probably my parents. They were the ones that took me to training and back, even though it was so far. And when I got home, there was always, you know, homemade food to make sure I was always healthy, happy and fit. So I would probably say that my parents have done the most for me to help me. Hello, Demi. How does it feel to represent your country and play alongside many big names? It's a really special feeling. Yeah, I can't really describe it. It's just, it's amazing. And every time I get the opportunity, you know, I'm, I'm so happy. Um, what aspect of training or coaching has helped you improve as a team player? Some good questions. The most important is communication. When I was younger, I just used to get the ball and just want to dribble everyone. As you get older, it becomes more difficult to do that. You need to, to know your teammates more and the best way is to communicate with them, speak with them, especially on the pitch. Yeah, I think communication is probably what's made me a better team player. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. See you soon and good luck.